This month, the main focus at Mars One has been on the hardware side, with the release of the first preliminary technical specifications for the 2018 lander. Planned to be the first private mission to Mars, this is a huge step towards Mars One's eventual goal of establishing a permanent human settlement on the planet, so it's great to see technical progress being made towards its development. Mars One is also opening up to the scientific community as a whole in order to source the best possible payload designed for this mission to achieve its primary objectives of demonstrating water extraction and solar power generation. With the release of the specifications, Mars One also announced a global university design competition in order to let university students design their own payload proposals for the mission. And this could be anything. It could be scientific, educational, or something else entirely in nature. It's completely up to the creativity of the teams to decide. But if you're interested, you'll have to hurry, because the deadline to register for the competition is the end of this month. But that's not all that they'll be on the 2018 lander. They will also feature two payload slots available for sale to the highest bidder, which is a great way to raise the funding required for this mission, which is estimated at around $400 million based on NASA's Phoenix mission. Because remember that Mars One's main source of revenue will be the broadcasting of the astronaut selection and training process, which will have only just begun as the 2018 mission moves forward into its most expensive funding phase. But what is for sure is that there's going to be some exciting and really interesting proposals submitted for the lander over the coming months, that I'm sure about. And for more information specifically on the lander, I made a dedicated video a few weeks ago on it, which you can find below. And now for a quick update on the selection process. Mars One has confirmed that the interviews for Round 2 will take place before the end of this year, with Round 3 commencing in Spring 2015, and the fourth and final round finishing by the end of 2015. This represents a slight shift in the original schedule of finishing the selection process by Summer 2015, which is due in part to the organisational challenges of arranging the Round 2 interviews. But nevertheless, the first broadcasting is still scheduled to commence in Spring 2015. In the meantime, I'll still be producing videos in this channel following the mission and the science behind it, the next one will be on the future of spaceflight, which was suggested by Kelpshires. It will be coming out around the end of August, as I'm going to be away for a few weeks, doing something incredibly exciting, but unfortunately I can't reveal what at this time. But in any case, during the pause, please keep sending in your suggestions and questions. One idea that I'm particularly excited by is hosting a live conversation on this channel, where myself and a number of the other Mars One candidates will be available to answer your questions. Until next time.